Hi, my name is Kai Won. It's unboxing time. Okay, so I bought two Run Kim Thumb Pro. This is the 4K version, the Pro version, because I just keep crashing my FPV drone and my GoPro just keep smash into pieces. So, mmm, Run Kim Thumb Pro. I think the biggest selling point is the weight because this tiny little camera just weighed 16 grams. A 16 grams little 4K camera on your drone. This is just next level. Warning, this camera just support 5 volts input, so you cannot use the battery voltage to power this camera. Okay, so in the box, we have a user manual, a micro USB, not a type C cable, and a power cable for soldering to the flight controller. And it also provides you some 3D printed part and some little screws. In the box. Here are some video specs. So the highest bit rate 60 megabit per second, 4K 30 frame per second. And the 2.7K 60 frame per second is also 60 megabit per second. So the highest bit rate 60 megabit per second. Uh, yeah, usable. So this is a cool part. If you want to set up some settings in this camera, you cannot just adjust some dials or buttons on this camera because there are no any dials or buttons and no any information if you want to control it you need to download a run cam app and after setting up all your settings you will have a qr code in in the qr code mode you just yep finish setting so after a few minutes of experiment you can use the usb cable to power up this little camera and also record video with the USB cable. So you don't need to use the FPV connector to power up and record video. So there are more potential with this camera, little tiny camera. If you just want to use this camera alone, you can just use the power bank and put this little camera somewhere. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so this is the video quality and audio quality from the Run Kim Thumb Pro 4K. So some settings, I use the color style flat color. And I set the ISO to 100. You should always set your ISO to 100 because this tiny little camera is not very good at low light and high ISO environment. I set the exposure composition, composition, yeah, to minus 1.3 because you always, if you want most dynamic range, you always underexpose. And uh, raise the shadow part in post because the digital camera uh, have higher sensitive in the low light part so you always remember always underexpose just don't expose properly <laughs> expose properly if you can expose properly without clipping the highlight yep <laughs> and i set the contrast too low and the white balance too sunny because there are no any kelvin number i can set up I just can set up the closest, 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 the num number, the sunny, but I think the sunny white balance is still a little bit too warm. So right now I'm pretty impressed about this Run Cam Thumb Pro 4K. The image quality looks solid. The audio, mm, not pretty good, just like you're under the water, but <laughs> you will not use this little camera to record audio only. So. Image quality, awesome, little tiny camera and beautiful price point. But if you want to use this little camera somewhere else, not on the FPV drone, if you want to place it somewhere and put it there without any airflow, it will get hot very easily. So uh, just keep in mind, maybe take a little fan to cool it down because it will just get super hot okay so this is what it looks like on the synlog 35 performance version but it's a little bit awkward because the 3d printed part in the box in the ron kim thumb pro box this mounting bracket just there is no any mounting holes for this little part to fit on this top plate just no any screws no any holes that fit on this top plate so i just used the plate on uh, inside the Gap RC Synlog 35 box, this little mounting stuff, I don't know <laughs> what it's called, but I just screw it in and just tie that up. <laughs> I hope 
nothing will fall apart in the sky. Okay, so this is Ron Kim Thumb Pro 4K unboxing video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, filmmaking stuff, camera equipment stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.